Welcome to my house. I am Frumpy Buckle, and you're fishing with Uncle Buck. Well, it's been about, oh, what is it, a year and a half now since I did my first video on Fishing Planet. It was May, May 28th, 2022. And uh, a lot has changed in Fishing Planet since that time. And I was going back through, actually looking at some of this, looking at the setup guide, and it's time for, it needs to be updated. Not that it was bad, um, but it was terrible. So we need to get that replaced along with a lot has happened. I mean, we've had new waterways, we've had new equipment, we've got now the new updates here. So it's time for, time for a, a remix, so to speak. So for you guys that have been hanging out with me for the last year and a half on this journey, um, this is, this is for the beginners. This is that first thing I managed to get myself brand new account on Steam since they seem to get all the updates first so I can get, get a hold of these updates quicker. Anyway, I got a new account there, so I'm starting off very first brand new. I've never done anything to the account yet. So it's just like you downloaded the game and started off brand new. We're going to do that right now. I'm going to take you through Fishing Planet, the world's best fishing simulator. So we're going to jump down there. We're going to go over some of the things, go catch a fish, and I hope that uh, this time around it'll be quick, a little quicker than the, than the first one, and a little more structured, so to speak. I kind of know where I'm headed. So with that, let's go over here live. I don't know why isn't it there? There it is, it just took a lot of load. Okay. All right, guys, let's jump over. Now. You know, this is not where you get left at. This is where you get left at. Bang. Okay, you load it, start the game, put your name tag in, a couple of your credentials there, and boom, here you are. It says, let's go fishing, use the W plus the shift to move to the yellow pointer by the shoreline. Well, that's all well and good. And we're going to do that. There's another guy, brand new start. All right. Um, this is Lone Star Lake. They put us on the lake right off the bat, so you don't have time. What we're going to do right now is <clears throat> we're going to learn a little bit about what what's in front of you, what you're looking at right now. Okay, top left-hand corner in the letters, lettering up there, you got the time of day, day one of one. That will describe the day if you prior buy license let's say you plan a trip and you do it all in the beginning and you do a three-day trip you buy three days to, to a place um when you get there it'll say one of three or one of five i'll explain that later why you don't have to worry about that because you just you pay as you go in this game this is much easier you never know what's going to happen down there pay as you go all right and then drop down this gives you the temperature so you got what you got the your air temperature Gives you a little bit there. We got a little bit of overcast there. We got clouds, little clouds. Uh, barometer is low, very low. Now that's all important in fishing planet. Uh, you want that barometer high, or you want it changing. You want to be fishing when it changes. And if you watch my videos, I got videos on from Lone Star all the way up, all the way up to the last final missions, all the missions in Pl fishing planet. Check out my YouTube channel. Obviously, you're there because you found this video. All right, so then the 78 there on the end, that's your water temperature, okay? It gives you the winds out of the south at 2.5 mile an hour. So your fish net, you have what type of fish net you have, a fish hut XS we start off with. There's zero pounds in it. I'm allowed 4.4 pounds before it gets full. And the maximum size fish I can handle in that net is a 2.2 pound fish. Now, fish nets are very, very important in this game. That's how you make your money. The fish net is your bank. Um... You will learn all about that. I have fishnets versus stringers video. It's one of my top videos. Check it out. I explain everything in detail about these fishnets, when to buy them, how to buy them, why to buy them, and all that. So we won't leave you on that. Fishnets are very important. Make note of that. 
all right you got your f1 key for help basically what that does is it gives you okay. didn't do that oh that was escape from the buck all right f1 gives you your key bindings fishing during your that's pretty much what it is that's how to move around so you that's when you, you want to learn um i have a you know keyboard and mouse i didn't choose um a controller so that's why my mine are a little bit different yours yours will be different um if you pick a controller to do your setup in the beginning okay now what else do we got to do here before we leave over on the right over on the right top right hand corner you see bread with hook number eight so that's your bait is the bread the hook size is a hook number eight oh, and oh, further videos down the line you can watch my video and get into the hardware and hook sizes hook sizes are basically numbered smaller to larger larger to smaller depending on whether you know whether you're talking below the zero medium or above the zero medium all right, so we got 50 pieces of bread. That's what they give us in the game. Okay, uh, down in the bottom left, you see a little a little text box window there. If you hit your uh, return key, your carriage return, it allows you to chat. That would be your chat. And you hit the return key again to get out of the chat. Now if you hit your tab key, um, that gives you your, that pulls your chat window up with a little bit of history there. You can go back through and look. But now, if you were playing on a PC, you use your, con your control key will give you control of your uh, cursor, and you can go back through it. Anything in green is going to be a trophy. Anything in orange that you see is going to be a unique piece of Okay, that's kind of how the attack works. And tab tab back out of it. And that would how that works. Now, um, anytime you do a mission where you see first steps, and it's got a little arrow out there uh, approach the mark spot on the shore anytime you're tracking a mission that they give you in the game and you have missions i suggest you do your missions it helps you gain money it helps you level up and it gives you kind of structure gives you something to fish for in, in every day rather than just randomly walking around trying to get fish um, so that's all that and we'll, we'll explain the missions later when i get there um, which will be short here. So it says approach the mark spot on the shore. If you get to there, then now first steps will go away. You'll get another mission, whatever they give you. We'll, we'll see that, how that works. On the far right now, on the far right, um, there is a, a grayed out bar, a graph there. And that's kind of your simple fishing pole graph. Um, it gives you the, the what your availability of your line, your reel, and your rod are. Your durabilities, whether they're getting weaker, at this basically they're all at 99 percent right now as you fish the more you fish the heavier fish these these parts will wear down and then you have to perform maintenance on them and fishing maintenance on your rods and reels are expensive so it's wise to balance your setups um, i have videos on that setting up balanced setups and you'll you'll learn you'll learn about that all right guys so that kind of oh in the bottom round circle down there now that circle at the very bottom, the bottom right, is your your drag, and you can you can increase you can increase the speed of your retrieve with your mouse wheel up and down, and and that basically reels faster or slower, right? Now with the plus or minus keys, plus plus you see the pie charts going up around. That's your drag setting. That tightens up your reel. So that basically, if you have it way down low and you get a big fish, he'll be able to take line out. You won't be able to get him in. You figure out, well, why can't I? Why can't I reel this fish in? It's because your drag setting is too low, and you'll notice that when it's too low on the bar graph over here, you never get up into the orange or red. You always, you're always in like the blue or green, and it's just tick, 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 tick. You can't figure it out. Well, that's why. You look down there to the right. See where that's at. Make you know, especially when you're starting out with this setup on this game, because um, you're running two pound line. It gives you on on this setup that you got. So, and you're going after one pound fish here in the beginning. So you can set it there right about uh, eight o'clock. You know, seven o'clock. Where where depending on your reels, those those pie charts will be different depending on the type of reel you buy. The, and your drag, some reels you get better 
more settings than others. Okay, but this is a basic wheel. So, and then to the left of that, it, it tells you how much line you have out. The zero is okay, we haven't thrown it out in the water yet anywhere. And the slash 216 right below the zero, that is how much line do you have on your spool with that particular pole. So we have 216 feet. So if we catch a fish, it's big, and he runs us out all the way to 216 feet. When the minute he goes to 217, ping, your line will break. And he's gone. So there you go. You got to be careful. You don't throw big hooks on small gear uh, where you end up possibly catching a fish that will break your line. You don't want to do that. Okay. So normally we you would just head right over here and try to figure this out. All right. We're going we're gonna to take a little break from that. And... We're going we're gonna to see what this game is all about. Let's go back over here. All right. There we are. You guys will learn if you've been following me. I still haven't got much better at flipping around. <laughs> That's for sure. All right. So, if you hit your escape key, it basically backs you back out, and then you see this menu. Okay, this is your fishing planet world. This is your map. This is how you, this is where you function from. Um, this is your main user interface. So, you have a map. And that map will be either of the world or if you're on a, a pond, a lake, a river, what have you, a waterway. If you're on a waterway, you will see this leave button. That's basically saying, okay, do you want to leave that waterway? Um, it'll ask you, you know, it won't let you make a mistake. in it Because when you leave, that's how you sell all your fish. And once you leave, you're gone. And whatever it costs you to get there, you know, it asks you again, are you sure you want to go? So just remember that once you leave, you got to pay to come back. All right? So this is basically home. So we have a map. But what do we see on our map here? Well, we have home sweet home. Now, basically what that is, is once you're on a waterway, um, if you're just on the global map and any pond that you pick, you can come up here to this same section and you'll get a little history about that waterway. Once you're on that waterway, then you get a little history about the different drop-in zones. Okay, so we have three drop-ins here on this. We have home sweet home. And if you click on that there, it gives you a little deal. I got a real fast guys because this stuff's getting in the way and track this mission right away Let's get back. okay we'll get back we'll get over there to those missions uh, all that flashing and yellow everywhere all right <clears throat> so home sweet home okay you can click on that it gives you a little history about home sweet home and you know some of the stuff that you can you can catch around there so it's giving you the white crappy golden shine or red or sunfish blue you know, shine okay you can however you know you can catch this on this pond you can catch it everywhere so it gives you that you got the swampy exploration over here and you have the dam road over here so these are your three spawns and you can just drop in and then walk and you can you can walk all the way around the lake i mean you can come up over through the gate and walk all the way across the dam over here and come back down through and by the way over here if you watch my my videos on lone star um, I show you where I show you where to come. There's one spot over here that you can come to, and you can actually fish right over top of the fence. You can fish down in here in the deep hole for those catfish and smallmouth buffalo. All right, guys. So you got the three spawn spawns. Now, what else do they teach us over here? Well, they give us a weather forecast. Okay, so right. So you got your temperatures here, what it's going to look like, your barometer, barometric pressure, what that is, your water temperature and winds, and they give you a bite rate chart for that 5 a.m. to 9 p.m. That's your day. That basically is your day. And then it runs 9 p.m. to 5 a.m. That's how the phases run, day and night. Okay, so if you look up here then, you click on that, it gives you a forecast for the next, I believe it's seven or eight days. Four, five, six, seven, seven days. Okay, so you get the forecast for seven days, which this is not in stone by no means. <laughs> it's just like, uh, they don't do it any better than than the real weatherman does out there. All right, this is just a this is just a forecast. I mean, it could change, <laughs> and they do. They do change. All right, so just to, just so you know. All right, guys. So and you kind of plan through. Now, what you're seeing here basically is 
it's the bite rates. When when these fish are more active, when you're liable to get more of a hit rate. So it's always, of course, your higher peaks or your hotter peaks. When you're fishing down below, this doesn't mean if you're in a peak that you're not going to catch any fish. That just means that there's going to be a slower, it's a slower grind if you're fishing the peaks. However, you can pick up unis. Um, some of these fish, a lot of times in certain conditions when you're in the bottom of a peak is a perfect time to catch a specific fish. There's a lot of fish in this game. So, and you'll, you'll, you'll learn that there, there's a lot of fish in this game with different tactics and different bite patterns as to when they hit. It's like the real world, guys. It's like the real world. All right, so then for each one of these, we'll put that, that away. And then for each waterway you're on, you'll get a fish species that tells you here, you have zero caught out of 13. There's 13 fish on this waterway. Okay, so then on the waterway, for here, we have the black-tailed shiner, we have a bluegill, we have a channel catfish. Now over here on the right, when you click on each one of these, it basically gives you a little history about that fish, how big it can get, what it likes to eat, where it likes to hang out, that kind of stuff. Read it. I mean, if you don't know these fish, learn, and it'll help you, it'll help you on the waterways finding these spots where these fish are going to be. Okay, now preferred baits for this guy, doe balls and uh, semolina balls. And you can just click on the bluegill and you get that, you get everything preferred baits. Now these are all your live baits and then your preferred lures. So the bluegill, nano spoons and spinners, and tubes and grubs he'll hit on. Okay, so you got channel cat in here, golden shiners in here, grass pickerel, your pickerel, large minnows, small minnows, Casting spoons, shads, poppers, walkers, and frogs. Yep. Uh, green sunfish. <clears throat> and as you catch these guys, you'll get little check marks in here for the common, the trophy. And uh, I don't believe there's any unis on Lone Star. No, I don't, there's no Lone Star. And there's, you know, there's there's up to four. You can have a young, common, trophy, and uni. Unique, basically what they call it. So, that's where you'll see, and then as you catch these, it, it keeps track of them out here. So as you get one, and you'll have one of the 32. So you always kind of keep track. And as you get all the commons on a waterway, you'll get bait coin. Bait coin, as you see here, we start off, we've got zero bait coin. Bait coin's everything. Money is everything in this game. But they only give us $3,900, so it's a grind. It's a grind in the beginning, all right? So the fish species are there. Now here's your license. They give you an unlimited basic license for Lone Star. <clears throat> I do not suggest buying the advanced license. Um, and I'm gonna do a video on that, as now I can do it since I have this new account. Um, and I can start over, because I already had the license. So there, there's, there's a good way to, to work. The, it's really about the only thing you have to worry about at Lone Star is the spotted bass. And there, there's a way around that license even with the even with the fine that you get so i wouldn't suggest buying the advanced license as of yet now down the road you might want to you know once you've made some money i mean because if you go in there to buy the license uh, it's 200 dollars right off the bat um for that license so i wouldn't spend my 200 on that license because you can make you can make the 200 on on the fish on this on the spotted bass by keeping them and I'll teach you how to keep them. Okay, even though you're, even though you're gonna get fined. <laughs> okay, so now there's your license. Now your rooms. Okay, guys. Now, and you have the ability to do fish in multiple rooms here. Okay. Now a random room. Let me explain a random room for you. What are the benefits of each of these? Okay, random rooms. Hmm. That's anybody, everybody. Boom, they're all there. You know, there's a lot of people walking around fishing all different levels, what have you. Um, People that have a tendency to want to come and get in your face and stare at you, gamers of that nature. So if you're one of them kind of guys that like to run around and just annoy people, then probably your best choice would be a random room and you can go run around and annoy people. Um, won't take long. <laughs> all right. If you don't like that kind of activity at all, then you could go to a private room. In which case there'd be nobody there, it's just you. Now, made some friends already, and you can always have the new friends room only, and then all your friends can come and sit with you. So, you have an option there. Now, one good thing about a random room. Now, on the lower levels is where you get most of the punks. Okay, when you once you, once you progress a little bit further in the game, it weeds out, unless you're, unless you're a fisherman, it weeds out the, the punks. So, as you get, as you get, 
upstream a little more, it, the respect the respect irons out. Okay, now what's good about a random room? Well, you can see where the congregation, where, where most people are fishing, where the hot spots are. Um, you can, in, in, as, as you're fishing yourself, you can see the fish that are being caught. Um, kind of, you can look at the map and know where these guys are at. Um, a lot of times you can chat with them. They don't mind. If you ever see me out there, you can always chat with me. Um, I always let everybody know what happens to be hot, what bait I'm using at the time. And there's a lot of guys out there that are like that. They will do that. So don't be don't be afraid to join the random rooms. Grit your teeth when you get a couple of idiots around you because it happens in every day. So <laughs> that's just the, the bad part about it. All right, so there's your rooms. That's how the rooms break down. Okay, and then of course you can just go fishing and it takes you back to the waterway. Now, inventory. Inventory is where everything works, fellas. This is where it all works out of. Right now we're giving one pole. Uh, this is our this is our guy. We don't have anything. We have a fish net. It's where you keep your boats, your rod stands, your hats, your, your rod cases, your tackle boxes. And this is how you build the ability to carry more tackle, to carry more bait, to carry more lures. Right now we're sitting in, we only get 10. We got 10 slots. Right now I'm using two of them up. Okay, that's for your terminal tackle. Um, we're allowed one reel and we already have that. We're allowed for one line and one reel. So right now we're only allowed to fish with one pole. And then the last one here is for, um, <clears throat> these are your ground baits. Okay, so we're allowed 10, 10 we're allowed to take 10 ground bait stuff with us. That would be this section over here. I'm gonna explain that to you, okay? So now here, when you're on your persons, you're in your backpack. The way this works is, here's your here's your sticks. And normally, normally you don't carry any sticks with you. You keep them you keep them in your rod case, so you don't carry extra sticks. Now you you could, but you're going to eat up space. Um, the, I don't see a reason for it. Okay, and then you've got your line. So there's there's our line, and we have our two pound test, and that that goes on this this guy right here. So there there's our line. Um, we have 216 on him, and we have 275 left. So we basically have, once this runs down and gets to red, we've got one more load up before we're going to have to buy line for this guy. And hopefully we'll have another pole by then. We want to, we want to get a pole as soon as we can. Okay, so this is kind of where, that's what's all kept. Here's your terminal tackle. So right now all we have is a hook. Now this is, this is where you're going to keep all your hooks, your bobbers, your sinkers, everything like that, okay? Now, we don't have our home with us because we are on uh, Lone Star. Normally when you're off the waterway, there'll be another section here called home where you can keep things in your home base and you add to your backpack when you go out on a fishing trip. So the home base will give you more storage so you can buy things and we'll get, we'll, we'll get to the home thing when we leave the lake. All right, so there's your inventory. Uh, there's your bait, so there you've got your bait. Now these are, you won't have anything yet, but this is where your hard baits are kept. Um, or I'm sorry, your jigs and your rubber, rubber worms, rubber jigs, rubber crawfish, worms of that nature, chads, grubs. Uh, you'll, you'll see these accumulate here. Now here's your hard baits. These will be your crank baits, your, your, your lures, your walkers of that nature. Now here's your bass jigs. Um, as you accumulate them, that's where your, those will be stored. Now, these are all your spoons and spinners will be up here. Your ground baits, this is your, um, basically that's going to be, oh gosh, where they put in there? It's going to be like fire. This is, your, your boats and kayaks end up here and everything else like your hats and your jackets and your tackle boxes that you have is kind of, is what this, this loadout is down here in this. Now here at the bottom, some missions will require you to snag things and collect them. You'll need five of these, five of these snarls with uh, loot, what they call them, which is basically, you know, it, it's a snagged up fishing line with a lure on it. You know. So, and there's, there's all throughout the game. You'll snag weeds and tree bark and all kinds of stuff. And that'll happen to you. All right, so inventory. That's where we keep that. So you have your, your there, that'll be your sticks. And you can get up to seven sticks in this game. 
as you level up and you purchase sticks and you buy the, the of course, the rod cases that'll hold it. All right, so where you shop, well, you shop at the store. Now, I'm not going to go into the store too much, but this is where everything is bought and sold from. Now, this is the Lone Star store. Now, remember, if you're on a waterway, the, the waterway, the stores that are on the waterways are more expensive and they don't carry the same stuff that the mega store does when you're off all waterway. Right? That's how that works. So, mission. This is this is where the beginning step this is the only mission we have right now. And here boy, I didn't realize it. I didn't realize it was this much. Okay. Get one or two. Okay, I don't know, sweet home, no go. Okay, I got it. Alright, so that's probably what's gonna happen as soon as we go catch this fish. Uh, we don't want to track the mission yet. Okay, so now the sport, this is where your competitions can't get on there it doesn't unlock until level three okay and the clubs you can't get to them until level five all right now your premium premium is where you go spend real money this is where you lose your hard-earned cash <laughs> that this is where fishing planet makes their money right so you have a lot of stuff here you have a home where you can buy bait coins of the nature you can buy uh, x amount of days of premium accounts you get pawn passes ahead of time they have deals going on. Oh, here's 39% off. That's usually 39.29. That's pretty cool. Oh, 50% off the Pro Angler Deluxe. Sweet deal. This is a sweet package, guys. Okay. <clears throat> popular. And these are the popular the popular things that are out there going. Okay, that Bucky Bungle goes. Yeah, that's, that's pretty good deals there. All right. Now, on this account, Buck's doing this one. No DLC. Watch my other one. My other frumpy buckle account. I cast, I have videos on all these DLCs. I tested them all, so you guys can check that out on the YouTube channel. Just look me up on Google. Frumpy buckle right here where you're at. Okay, fishing packs. Okay, there, we got all them here. So you can find your fishing packs all different for different amounts of money. Okay, so like I said, boat packs. This is where you, this is where you lose, lose your money. Right here, all these boat packs and things buy and sport packs you can decide if you want to wait until a certain level in-game money or whether you want to spend the five bucks and come get a, a bottom rod right off the bat that'll get you almost the whole way through the game that can be done watch, watch my videos event packs okay got them those are for all the holidays and things that go on Okay, and then you have your tournament packs, and the same thing. It's for all the tournaments that are held in Fishing Planet all year long, and there's quite a few of them that come up every quarter or so, and sometimes even more, but they're pretty cool. All right, guys, so that's where the premium's at. Now, for this over here, this is basically your profile, all right? So you can click on this. What you end up getting is your fish records. We don't have any yet. We didn't catch any. Keep track of uh, experience levels. How much more experience you need to get to the next level. Make fish you caught, common trophies, uniques, special skill ratings, competitions that you're in, how long you've been playing the game. We haven't been playing it at all yet. And then over here on the right are all your challenges. And you'll accomplish these as you start to fish. And they're all about catching the tight lines, complete the tutorial. We'll get that right off the bat and we'll get a gold. Only catch 100 fish using float tackle, so eventually you'll get to your 100 fish uh, using bottom tackle. So all these will come up, and you'll get to make gold uh, as you go through these challenges. And that's how you increase your gold level like that. Okay, guys, so that takes care of your your stats position. Now if we move move one over to the right. That's your leaderboards. Go take a look at leaderboards, um, and these go by. Many different ways, your competitions, how they go, player top 100 levels. I mainly, I, I don't do competitions, so I use them for the fish. Um, I like to take the fish and then I look at all players and then I just, I, I can just click on here and it gives you the fish. You take a look at Arapaimas, what's the, what's the weekly record for Arapaima right now? 387 pounds. Okay, and this guy holds it. Sweet. So, and they give you the top 100. So, that's kind of nice when you're out there fishing. If you 
catch a big fish, you want to kind of, and this recycles weekly. I think I forget what day it is exactly, but don't get, don't get all bent out of shape if you're, you were number six on the board one day and then you're completely off the board the next day. That was the day it recycled. So, go out there and catch them again and get on the board. All right, so that's kind of cool right there. So that you can catch the, you know, down there in your stats. You can look at all kinds of things. Your competitions, like top player, my competitions, or the top 100. Um, that way, global competitions. This is um, basically a fish. Who catch, the, who's caught the most fish, the most trophies, the most unis, who's got the most experience for the week. So it's basically how you perform for that week. Who's top dog for the week. All right, so then here is where you keep track of your friends. Oh, I didn't have, no, I didn't know I had all these friends already on this account. How did that happen? <laughs> all right, cool. Okay, well, this is where you would keep track of your friends. Um, it just, you could chat with them, send them a gift, unfriend them, all right? So <clears throat> these guys, we all know who these folks are. All right, and finally, I want to get to this. And this is where you can configure, do a little bit of configuring. Okay, so this was the gray scale on the right hand side. I kind of like, I kind of like, I fish with the pro one. It gives me a bar graph for each of my phases. My, my it gives me my engine, my stick, and, and my string. So. That way I can tell if I'm perfectly balanced on my pole. I like that. Medium, I need medium. I will leave it right there, but <laughs> Buck needs to see him. All right, so you turn on your inch, player models in close range. Yeah, show snag warnings. You could turn that on if you wanted to. Um, it's, it can be a pain, I, I don't like mine on. Bite indicator, visibility, yeah, we wouldn't have, have on. Now, enable the landing net. This is new, guys. It was, this came new with the new update. Um, you have an option of turning it on or turning it off. Uh, I've been fishing with the new update for a while with it on. Um, for right now, we're not going to deal with it. It's more I, it's more for larger fish, to tell you the truth. Um, but right now, I'd leave it off until you get the hang of the game. All right, so so that's where you adjust your game stuff. Now you can change, you know, you can deal with your mouse here as far as sensitivities go of that nature. It's where you can change some key bindings and how they work. Your controllers, there's there's your controller. All right, video, you can change your videos. I think that looks pretty good, all that stuff. I didn't even look at this. Um, here's where your audio. Now I come in here and I change mine down. Um, interface sound, if you keep the interface sound web high, every time you go over anything, click, 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 it'll drive you nuts with the clicking. So you can turn that interface all the way down like three. Music volume, it can be very annoying and loud. They keep it at 50 percent i jack it down like i say right that's five percent when you're hearing it now so it's pretty loud environment volume i leave alone sounds of the bite alarms dude they could they have it like at 80 percent it will drive you insane it'll pierce your ears i keep mine under 10 percent and that's plenty loud enough for me um float fishing bite sound you want to have that on so it dings for you. all right and then again you just have a profile what there um, credits for the game guys supports and quits. All right, so that's pretty much it guys. That's I have unsafe changes. What did I change? Oh. Hmm. oh yeah, I, I know what I changed back to the pro. Okay, let's buy that. All right, now we got it. All right, let's go back to the map. Okay guys, well Let's go down here. Oh, I forgot to turn the mission back on. Turn our mission back on. Back to the mission. All right. I'm going to walk up here. Okay. Pass to the mark fishing spot. All right. We'll just flip it. We're in there. There's a little wait for a bite. All right. Now, as you can see, we're 31 feet out out of the 216 feet. We've got our bar graphs up there. Everything's at 99%. The drag set at three quarters. Thirds, however you want to look at it. There he is, he bit. And we just hit the right mouse button to set the hook. There's a new personal record. And we caught our first fish. So it's 
wait for the bobber to shake and jerk down like real fiction. Um, now, one thing that's nice in this game, you don't have to, you really don't have to hit um, the right mouse button. You can yank your rod a little bit to the right and set that hook in there. And if, if you get better at it, you might miss a few fish for a while until you get the hang of it, but it can be done. Um, all right, so we'll keep this guy. All right, so just a real drag to three divisions to optimize load on the tackle. Or they want me to lower it. Okay. We lowered it, we hit the minus key. Alright, so now no, you can hit the Z button to zoom in. Okay? Now if you zoom too far, hold the Z button down and, and use your mouse scroll wheel. And you can slowly pull it out to get your adjustment the way you like it. Right, there's a fish biting. Wanna keep tight lines. Our golden shiner, everything's going to be in your personal record now, isn't it, Pop? All right, we'll keep that. Now let's catch a bigger fish. Press escape to go to the local map. Change the fishing spot. All right, they want us to go over here. All right, so we'll just click on this and click on the go fishing. And that puts us over there. All right, so now, say 32 feet there. Oh, they want us to go. There we are. This is what I would, okay, see that sign there that says worms? All right, every day they give you free worms right here. Every single day, fellas. Never have to buy red worms. That's every day you can come back here and get your red worms. All right, so now what are they telling us? Hold to see and move to select red worms. Hold to see. Oh, they changed it now. Okay, so the Zeke does it. Right, so you just scroll up, put the red worms up there in the top right, and let go. Now turn around and go to the center of the bridge. Alright, turn around and get to it. Alright, well, they want us to go to the center. Boom, right here. Turn left and cast your tackle near the water lily. Alright, so just go right up there. I'm using the left mouse button to throw it out. I just hold it down and it starts to throw and this is a flipping motion with this stick right now that's how they have you set up because it's a telescopic pole and they're made you know they're a lot longer however you can't cast them as far as match rod which is another rod that you can put a bobber on and, and live bait we have to level up before we can buy a match rod level three. Oh, fuck Okay, so the floater's on its side because it hit the bottom. So we're gonna pull it in and now we're gonna adjust, now we're gonna decrease. That's done with the O button. Three inches they want. I think it was 15. That's 19, I know. Best spot here. Why is it moving? There we go. 19 inches. There we go. Okay, just a real drag to three division. Three. No, I'm at three real drag. All right, we're good. All right, zoom in on the float by the Z. That's what we're going to say. There we can see our float. Hey. Yeah. There he is. See, now they want you to, this is what I was talking about. But we're going to hit the plus key. With the right key. Right key pulls up on the fist. There he is. Look at our trophy white crappy. So, now, what it tells you up here is the weight of your fish, how long it is, how much money you got for catching that fish, 
and the XP that you gain catching that fish. So that's what you see there. Okay, so it's where you have the option to either release the fish, still keep the XP, but you don't get the money. Okay, so we're gonna keep the fish. All right, now we just leveled up to level two. So these things are all now available to us. Get profit for fish. Open the local map. Okay, don't waste your time. Leave. So we're gonna leave. Yes. This is where they show you what you can make if you're on a premium account, if you spent real money, and this is what we made. So this is where we'll be living on this account. And there's the total for our trip. Close that, trip results. Town's complete, tight lines, tutorial. So we got one fake coin for that. Accomplished. So, got ourselves some Puro. No, I don't like that. Okay, now we're off the waterway. <clears throat> okay, so we're still, we're just at level two. And I think Les Nye Villa is level three. So we, we have to stay on Lone Star and we have to fish until we level up to level three. And Actually, we need to stay on Lone Star for quite some time. Um, that's what you want to do. This is how you start. Like I said, did, we did the rundown on the inventory, so we were good there. Now the shop is much larger. This is the Fishing Planet Mega Store. So this is where you want to do most of your shopping from. Um, it, other than there's our, there are a couple places out there on waterways that's specific types of baits are slightly cheaper but watch my videos and you'll figure out where they're at um watch anything on blue crap when i talk about it okay guys well we're gonna end it at that um i think i went over everything that should give you a pretty good start on the game um oh one thing i did want to tell you <clears throat> in case you get stuck a little bit the way that they have that rod set up it's it's set up to flip you can also cast that rod and get more distance out of it, the telescopic rod that they give us at the very beginning. If, and for a PC guy, if you hit F11 key, it will turn that rod into a normal spinning rod, and you can then cast it and get a little bit further. Now, it's not going to throw a ton of distance. That's what you need a match rod for. However, you can do that. And the F11 is basically it just toggles it from a flipping stick out to a, a normal fishing pole. All right, guys. That's the update. Um, clubs. I'm gonna do. I'm gonna do another video on the clubs specifically. So I'll have my other account because we've got a club for that already. We got the fishing band. Uh, we got grumpy buckle, grumpy, grumpy buckles, scorpions. So got that club up and running. So if you guys are just getting started. Um, it takes a while to get into the club. Do your homework. Watch my videos. Learn how not to go broke. Learn how not to go broke in this game. Mind your money. Mind your money. Money's everything. Watch the fish nets. All right, guys. I want to thank you for watching. Never, ever give up the fight. We'll see you later. Oh. <laughs>